Hello, I'm Mrs O'Sullivan and I'm in charge of Key Stage 1 here at St Osmond's Catholic Primary School and today I'm going to be reading The Disgusting Sandwich by Gareth Edwards. In a clump of trees on the edge of the park there lived a badger. He was a very hungry badger and his tummy wouldn't stop rumbling. One day a boy came to the park. He had a sandwich with him. It had fresh white bread and peanut butter. It was a beautiful sandwich. The boy took his sandwich to the playground. He was about to take a bite when a girl bumped him and it fell in the sand pit. Now the fresh white bread was covered in gritty sand. Well, said the little girl, you can't eat it now. It's disgusting. A squirrel found the sandwich. She didn't mind the sand. She carried the sandwich into a tree to share with her children. But they weren't good at sharing. And the sandwich dropped out of the tree and into a pond. Well, said the mother squirrel, we can't eat it now. It's disgusting. A frog saw the sandwich. It was floating in some goopy green pondweed that smelled of rotten eggs. The frog didn't mind the sand and the smelly green goop. He pulled the sandwich out to eat it on the path. But a boy on a scooter raced by and he had to jump out of the way. Now the sandwich had big black squish marks right across the middle. Well, said the frog, I can't eat it now. It's disgusting. Next, a crow saw the sandwich. She didn't mind the sand, the smelly green goop and the big black squish marks. She peeled the sandwich off the path and flew proudly up to her nest to give it to her mum. But a scary flying thing frightened her and she dropped the sandwich into an ant's nest. Hundreds of ants crawled all over it. Well, said the crow's mum, I can't eat it now. It's disgusting. Soon, a fox found the sandwich. He didn't mind the sand, the smelly green goop, the big black squish marks, or the hundreds of ants. He took it for a present for a lady fox he liked. But when he opened his mouth to tell her how nice she looked, the sandwich fell into a pile of feathers that had somehow got there. Now, the sandwich was covered with grimy old feathers. Well, said the fox's friend, I can't eat it now. It's disgusting. And she kicked the sandwich into a flower bed and went off to go through some bins. In amongst the flowers were some slugs. They didn't mind the sand, the smelly green goop, the big black squish marks, the hundreds of ants or the grimy old feathers. They slivered all over the sandwich and crisscrossed it with trails of slippery slime and oozy grey bubbles. The moon came out. Finally, along came the badger. He was hungrier than ever. He gazed at the sandwich all covered in sand and smelly green goop and big black squish marks and hundreds of ants and grimy old feathers and slippery slime and oozy grey bubbles glistening in the moonlight. His tummy rumbled. So he ate up all the slugs. But he didn't eat the sandwich. That was too disgusting. Mm -hmm.